Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles, and today we have a most amusing replay for you, starring Switchman107, and he is driving the Panzerkampfwagen Lux, the cutest tank in World of Tanks, and there it is. Look at it. Don't you just want to give it a hug? <laughs> I love this little tank. The Lux is a Tier 4, used to be Tier 3, German light tank. Obviously with the introduction of a whole bunch of new light tanks in the German tech tree. Well, when I first got my hands on the Lux, it was literally a case of LOL Tractor, Panzer II, Lux. That was it. Now you've got a whole bunch of different Panzer IIs, a bunch of different Panzer ones. You're really spot for choice when it comes to low tier German light tanks. And of course the Panzer 1C is, uh, well, it has a special place in everybody's hearts as well, and for good reasons. It's immense fun to drive. The Lux, however, has always had a special place in my heart. Before there was a Panzer 1C, at Tier 3 there was the Lux, and they were very, very, very similar tanks. Small, fast, highly manoeuvrable, loads of fun to drive, but with guns that meant that they were largely useless if they got into a game where they weren't top tier. Well, that all changed when the Lux was bumped up to Tier 4 and the Panzer 1C was introduced. This thing got a new gun, a 30mm MK103 auto cannon. And this gun was actually originally designed for use by the Luftwaffe on their aircraft, but it was designed as both an air-to-air -air and an anti-tank cannon. So why not put it on a tank? And that's exactly what they've done here in World of Tanks. Firing armour-piercing ammunition, this little monster with this gun has 95 millimetres of penetration, which is complete overkill <laughs> when it comes to shooting at very, very unfortunate Panzer 1Cs, who rushed far too far ahead of the rest of their team and ended up getting a dose of surprise butt sex from this little monster of a tank. That gun is easily capable of clipping just about any tier 3 vehicle in World of Tanks with one reload. However, it is not without its disadvantages. It does have a long reload down here at tier 4, and it has a very, very, very long aiming time. And that Valentine looks like he's using one of the two-pounder guns. He's done about 50 damage, and then again, about 50 damage. But despite the fact that the Valentine had the opportunity to fire once, reload, and fire again before Switchman could get this gun aimed and empty the magazine, Switchman has still done twice as much damage to the Valentine as the Valentine's done to him. Suddenly a wild M5 Stuart appears and then a uh, disaster strikes, T-80 pulls in front of him as he's firing and now he's, he's stuck on the outside of the T-80, getting shot at, scrambling to get behind him while he reloads, but his armour actually held up. Which is surprising, this thing only has 30mm of armour at the most, but it was angled well. And he's almost reloaded, he bounces another shot from the Valentine, and then as he's emptying his gun at the Valentine, accidentally kills the M5 Stuart behind him, which is nice. I mean, a kill's a kill, I'll take it. The Valentine's gone, and then, oh no, a T2 light, and he's still reloading. But with 30mm of penetration, a T2 light only has a 50% chance of getting through the front of his armour, even at the best possible angle, so he just quite casually takes his time <laughs> and, and uh, finishes him off as well. So there's his third kill, and... Ooh, I spy an opportunity for some more surprise butt sex. Who's he going to go for? Panzer 38T, or... Nah, he's going to kill the M2. Kill number four. So, okay, it's all been fun and games up until now, but now it's starting to get serious. That 38T is going after the Marder. And there are not that many tanks left on each side. And the Covenant has just appeared, which means the Marder's dead. Now, with this gun, he can quite easily, as long as they all hit, clip either of those two tanks. But then he has to reload. So he lies up in wait and he's probably hoping the Covenant is going to come around this corner. Meanwhile, more tanks are dying, the scores are 9-10, they're down by 1. But there's no sign of the Covenanter, or the Panzer 38. Looking at the map, however, most of what's left on his team are pushing the enemy base, so there's a good chance that these guys have, instead of coming around this way, they've, you know, they've actually looked at their map, and they've actually thought about what they're doing, and they've gone back to defend. Yes, I know, it does sound unlikely, but... Occasionally, even down here in Tier 4 games, people use their heads in the minimap. And that definitely looks like that's what they've done. But the Lux is easily capable of catching up with them, even if he did spend a long time on that corner, waiting for the Covenanter to come out. Comes around the corner, and... Yep, there they are. 
Covenanter either hasn't seen him or is focusing on the DW2. The Panzer 38T, however, has seen him and he's getting covered behind that rock. Note the position of that LTP, by the way, in the enemy base on the hill. We're going to see him again later. <laughs> but for now, he has to kill this 38T. And the Covenanter did go after the DW2. And he's killed the 38T, but the Covenanter has two shots remaining in his 40 mil and he reduces him to 7 health. Now, the Covenanter's reloading, Switchman is reloading. But he only has 7 health, and now there's only two of them left. Just him and the artillery against five enemy tanks. That LTP's coming back up the top of the hill. Artillery tries to help him out against the Covenanter. They're both reloaded. The Covenanter just has to penetrate him once. So, of course, he bounces. <laughs> 63 millimeters of penetration, 30 millimeters of armor doesn't go through. Can't afford to sit around laughing about it, however, because he's got to get underneath the gun depression of that LTP or it's game over. And for some bizarre reason, the LTP does not press forward and take the shot, which allows him to get away on 7 health and reload his gun. Quick note about the armour of the looks, however. I keep saying 30mm of armour, and, and the stock looks does have 30mm of armour at the front of the turret and the hull. But an upgraded looks has 50mm of armour at the front of the turret. Still doesn't beat 63mm of penetration from a 40mm Bofors, of course, except it just did. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're certainly not complaining. But anyway, he's managed to get away, break contact, reload his gun. He only has 7 health remaining, but the enemy team don't know where he is anymore. He's going to get very, very little artillery support here. That Sexton is... he's found a spot and he doesn't want to move from it. And... Switchman is right at the outer limit of artillery's effective firing range here. But there's the enemy artillery. And this is where Switchman finally has some bad luck. He's he's not just spamming the gun at them, but he just couldn't finish off that artillery. Too many of the shots missed. And the LTP pops up again in exactly the same position. Luckily, misses him. He reloads. And he's going to spray that area where the artillery was. And that's exactly when the Hetzer pops up on his flank. And this is not good. They all know where he is now. They're all going to be closing in. He's got to break contact, get the hell out of there. Get this gun reloaded and attempt to win against uh, almost full health. Or is he full health? A full health Hetzer. Oh, great. Scores a couple of hits, but he can't afford to spend the time that he normally takes aiming and oh my god here comes a Matilda as well there is absolutely no way he's getting out of this one alive or at least you'd think so <laughs> look at this Matilda misses once Matilda misses twice Hetzer misses once Matilda misses three times Hetzer's dead Switchman's still in the game Artillery just fired at the Matilda missed by a country mile he's reloading again he hasn't killed that enemy artillery, he's going to be shooting at him as well. He's in a bad spot, and the Matilda has very, very strong armour. Artillery just took a shot at him. The Matilda's still firing at him. He's waiting for that reload. His artillery is finally moving up to get into a better position to support him. But he's in a really, really, really bad spot here. And while I'm sure he loves this rock, I mean, at this stage he probably wants to marry this rock and have its babies. It is his lucky rock. It is his favourite rock in all the worlds and tanks. He just can't sit here for the rest of the game. Sooner or later that artillery is going to land one on him, and the Matilda only has to get lucky once. At the same time, of course, he's got a Matilda aiming at him, and he only has seven health. I mean, would you want to break cover? But if he stays here, he's going to die. He pops out takes a snapshot at the Matilda, hits him, Matilda fires and misses, Matilda fires and misses again, actually hits the rock in front of him, so he takes that opportunity to gun the engine and get the hell out of there, and by some miracle, he makes it. And he's reloaded again. And here comes his artillery. Um, ah, there you are, Mr Sexton. So glad you could join us, but uh, you're a little late, because I'm going this way. Yeah, you can drive up there if you want, but you're on your own, mate. I'm getting the hell out of here. What's the Sexton doing there? Oh, the Matilda's come down. Is the Sexton going to try to stand and fight against the Matilda? Yep. <laughs> well, that was nothing if not predictable. So the Matilda's come down. 
and now we've lost sight of him. So it, it's all going to depend on what that Matilda's doing. He's never going to catch a Lux. I mean, there aren't that many vehicles in World of Tanks that could catch a Lux at, at any tier. This is a very, very quick little machine. So if the Matilda is following him around directly behind him, he is going to probably be able to zoom all the way back around here and get back up to the enemy base before the Matilda starts to cap. Of course, then he still has to deal with the enemy artillery and the LTP, but if the Matilda instead is cutting directly across and climbing up here, he could be in trouble. So he turns the gun around, just in case the Matilda crosses that rise. There's no sign of him. So what's the Matilda done? He's either followed him all the way around, in which case, yay, <laughs> or he's backed up and he's gone back to sit in the base, in which case, not yay. That, that would be very, very, very bad. But what about that LTP? We've seen him twice so far, both in exactly the same location. What do you think the chances are that the LTP is still glued to that hilltop in the enemy base, from which he hasn't moved this entire game? And there's still no sign of the Matilda. And there's still the artillery to worry about as well. But the last time anybody saw Switchman, he was heading off to the east, so maybe they think he's coming at them from that direction, up the back road. Oh well, fingers crossed. Yep, they fell for it. <laughs> and another dose of surprise butt sex for the artillery, and it only took one shot. But the LTP, once again, could have won the game. But he just refuses to come down from this hilltop. But perhaps we're being too harsh here. Perhaps the LTP knows something that Switchman doesn't. Perhaps he knows that the Matilda is about to sneak up behind Switchman and finish him off. And all he has to do is keep him spotted and keep him pointing this way, and they're going to win the game. That, that could be what's about to happen. Or it could be that he's just very, very bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, the sad thing... Well, there's a sort of good news, bad news situation here. Because this is only a Tier 4 game, the choice of what he's going to do now is actually very, very simple. You might be sitting there thinking, wow, nine kills. He's got a Radley Walters to go with his Top Gun. He's one kill away from getting a Pools Medal. But you can't earn those medals in Tier 4 machines. They have to be Tier 5 or higher. He stood alone. And if he manages to cap out one against five or more enemy tanks, Kolobanov's medal. But you can't get that in a Tier 4 machine, which is a bit of a tragedy. But it does make his choice of what to do here, cap out and win, or go chasing after that Matilda for that elusive 10th kill. Well, it makes the choice very, very easy, because he doesn't really have that much more to gain by chasing after the Matilda. And he has an awful lot to lose. The Matilda could still do it unless he's made yet another bad decision and tried to go for Switchman's flag. If that's the case, there's absolutely no way he's going to get back here in time. And Sw Switchman is going to be sitting here, fingers crossed, praying to all the gods of tanks that that's exactly what the Matilda's done, because he does only have four health left. But if that Matilda did try to cap, this game is in the bag. And Switchman's sitting here, enduring a very, very tense minute <laughs> waiting... <laughs> to find out what that Matilda has done. He's not taking any chances, though. He's, he's using as much of that wreck of the tank behind him to cover his rear, while still staying inside the cap circle. He's got his gun pointed down the ice road at the back of the base, in case the Matilda's trying to climb up the hill and come around that way. He only has to hold on for a few more seconds, and yep, the Matilda did try to cap. He's done it. Unsurprisingly, that was an ace tanker. But the most impressive thing for me is that he doesn't run with a premium account, and despite that, he still cleared nearly 3,000 experience doubled in a tier 4 game. And he did nearly 2,000 damage with a 30mm autocannon. You know, there are a lot of people out there playing World of Tanks who think they've had a good game at tier 8 when they do 2,000 damage. Myself included. 2,000 damage at tier 4. Holy shit. So that was uh, Switchman 107 in the Panzerkampfwagen 2 Lux, the cutest tank in World of Tanks, having a fantastic game and making us all look bad. Hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.